Good morning, preteens. How are you today? I hope that you've had a great week and that you are ready for a whole new month of what God has in store for us. This month, we are talking about patience. So we will bake our way through every story, well, maybe not every story, but several stories through God's word on how we can live a more patient life. And I don't know about you, but I'm not very patient. So I'm excited to see what God has got for me this month. Grab your Bible and let's pray and we'll get ready to start. Father God, I thank you so much for this day. Lord, I thank you for showing me patience. Lord, I thank you for your word and I thank you, God, um, for encouraging my heart um, to live a life that honors you through patience. Lord, we love you and we give you honor and glory that you deserve. In these things I ask in Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends. Today, you are going to be in the book of Luke, chapter 2, starting in verse 25. So grab your Bible, enjoy worship, and I'll see you back here in just a minute. How well do you wait? I totally get it. Waiting is super hard. We all want things we can't have quite yet. To find out the grade you got on that math test, for mom to finish work so you can go for a bike ride together, for the microwave to dink so your popcorn's finally done. Whether you're waiting for four minutes or four months, it can seem like forever. It's tempting to grumble and whine. It's not fair. Nobody else has to wait this long. It can be tempting to jump ahead and try to get what you want without waiting. But trying to skip the wait usually leads to a mess. So take a deep breath and be patient. Ask God for help. Take the extra time to encourage a friend. And when the time is right, you can enjoy what you've been waiting on for so long. Yeah. When you wait without complaining, others can see God at work in you. That's why patience is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. to wait for all the things that I want Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too long To get the things I want What I think I need But I know you know what's best for me I'm gonna live what I believe I'm gonna wait Cause I know you're still working I'm gonna have patience Cause it'll be worth it I'm gonna have faith I know you have a purpose Slow down, I'm gonna trust 
that you're working it out I'm gonna hold up, slow down I'm gonna trust that you're working it out So please don't interrupt. Interrupt what exactly? I've been feeling very impatient lately. I think it's because we live in a world where I can get most anything I want instantly. I check my phone for social media updates every four seconds. Sometimes I can watch a show on TV at the same time I'm watching a show on my laptop. At night, when I'm asleep, I listen to music so I don't have to hear the deafening roar of silence. So I'm trying to prove that I don't have to constantly be doing something to entertain myself. By? By doing the most boring thing I could think of. Watching paint dry. Oh, oh, okay. Wait a minute. This isn't the part of the wall I painted. Oh, man. Worth the wait. Hello, my name is Brandon. And I'm John. And this is... The Social Show. Come on, let's get this show moving. What is the rush, John? Oh, we got fun to have, stories to tell, and lives to change, my friend. And I, for one, do not want to delay the proceedings with any overabundance of frivolous repartee. Also, I'm oh, hungry. Okay, so... Uh, come on, come on. Okay, uh, that's Frivolous. okay. Right, that's today is our baking show. Let's so, eat. Okay, hold on. We gotta bake something first. Uh, it's a baking show, but right? I'm hungry now. I'm hungry I get now. it. We're gonna. Okay, I'm sorry. You'll have to wait. We're gonna have a baking expert on the show a little later on. But first, we're no. Gonna play please welcome someone who knows stuff. <laughs> the John, I don't think it's time for someone who knows stuff right now. You're just wasting hey, your time. Hey, come on out. They're come not, on out. Come on what? out. Are they here? Yeah. yeah. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Here, 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 here. Have this seat. That's really great. Sorry. Sit right here. Who are you and what do you know? Hi. Uh, my name is Felina Tossi, and I'm a professional pastry chef. I make cakes and pies and all sorts of sweet, flaky goodness. Awesome. Let's eat. Okay. Look, uh, can you teach us how to bake in approximately three and a half minutes? Uh, I don't know. How, how much do each of you know about baking? Oh, well, I, I attended Le Cordon Bleu for a year. And I'm not entirely sure how to get the inside of an egg to the outside. Oh. Uh, well, that is a pretty wide gulf, but that's okay. We can bake something that is simple for everyone. A oh. cake! Oh, let's eat cake! We have got to bake it first. Okay, then uh, it's time for the so-and-so show cake bake! <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the so-and-so show cake bake. I'm Felina Tossi, and today we're making this, a Funfetti celebratory cake. Perhaps it's for a birthday, maybe a graduation. Whatever the occasion, this white cake with chocolate frosting is a delicious treat for any who choose to partake. Let's check in with our chefs. Ooh, as you can see, Brandon is doing one of the most important things you can do for any recipe. 
He's reading the instructions. Let's see how John's doing. Oh, uh, John is just going for it. He must be really hungry. Oh, really good cake takes time. You don't want to rush it. Remember, this isn't a race. It's just baking. Just look at the way Brandon cracks an egg. He is in no hurry whatsoever. You can tell Brandon's cake is going to taste good just by watching how much care he's putting into every step. Stirring by hand is a lost art. Chefs today often prefer electric mixers. different chefs, two different techniques. Let's see which one worked the best. Brandon, bring your cake to the table. Wow, that looks terrific. What's your secret? Well, Felina, I followed the directions on the back of the box. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, let's uh, try a bite. Mmm. Spongy and delicious. Well done. Thank mm. you. Let's see how John did. John? Yes, I got it. Oh, here it is. Want a bite? Um. Uh, uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Forgot the icing. Come on. Yeah, it just comes out like one. Oh, it's like cranberry sauce. There we go. Uh, did did you? Did you even bake your cake? Well, Felina, I did put it in the oven for a few minutes, but now that you mention it, it did seem colder than it should have. Uh, did you let the oven preheat? Pre what now? Oh. Hey. Mmm. Bye. Uh, <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Uh. That is not good. Just a bag. <gasps> you want to try some of mine? Yes, I do! Yeah, let me get a fork for it. Oh, no. Spongy! Oh, yeah, you're right. Follow the directions. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> Hey guys. Hey Kellen, what are we talking about today? Well today, we are talking about waiting. And waiting. And waiting. And to help us through those long, long waits, we've got the So-and-So Show Players. God's people knew a lot about waiting. For hundreds of years, they had been waiting for God to send them a Savior, or a Messiah, like He promised. One of God's people, a man named Simeon, lived in Jerusalem. He was a good and godly man, and he was told by the Holy Spirit that he would see the Messiah with his own eyes sometime before he died. I will? 
I gotta get to the temple. Now, we can only imagine how Simeon felt when the Holy Spirit told him that he would see the Messiah. He was probably very excited. Yo, Simeon, what's going on, bro? Who are you looking for? The Holy Spirit told me that I would see the Messiah with my own eyes. What? The Holy Spirit said you would see the Messiah today? Well, he didn't say today exactly. Oh. Well, then, uh, then when? Just sometime before I die. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna head out, huh? Uh, see you next time. Tomorrow, yeah? Same time? Okay? Works for me. All right, all right, cool. Okay. We don't know how long Simeon had to wait. Could have been days, or weeks, even years. But he waited. Oh, has he come yet? Has he come yet? Not yet. No. Ah. In waited. Gotta be today, right? <laughs> Obviously, it's got to be today. I mean, you have waited forever. Maybe. And waited, even after so many other people had given up. Waiting for that long for something so important would have been difficult. I can only imagine what it felt like day after day, year after year, just waiting. But then, one day, the Holy Spirit led Simeon into the temple courtyard. It's him. It's him. Pardon me. Oh, yes? May I, uh, may I hold your precious child? Oh, we don't even know of you. Of course. What's his name? His name is Jesus. Jesus. Lord, you are the king of all. Now let me, your servant, go in peace. That is what you promised. My eyes have seen your salvation. You have prepared it in the sight of all nations. It is a light to be given to the Gentiles. It will be the glory of your people, Israel. Simeon had seen the Messiah, our Savior, just like the Holy Spirit promised. It took a lot of waiting, but Jesus was worth the wait. Hmm. What I miss? Uh. The end. Let's give it up for the so-and-so show players. Great story, Kellen. Yeah, waiting is hard. I know. I mean, think about how you feel the night before your birthday. Now add that with the night before Christmas and the night before the first day of school or vacation or anything really exciting. Then multiply that by a million, and you might come close to what it felt like to be one of God's people waiting for the Messiah to come. Simeon could have given up and lost patience, but he didn't. He knew he had the Holy Spirit with him, just like we know we have God with us, even while we're waiting. That's awesome. Thanks, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you guys next time, if you can wait that long. We'll do our best. Bye. Aren't you gonna? I am. Then why are you not? I'm proving that I can be patient. I'll just do it. Re Reveal, Reveal the question! <laughs> Today's question is, when is it hard to have patience? You know, I think I showed pretty clearly that my answer is all the time. 
Sometimes it's hard to have patience when you're waiting for good things, like uh, having to wait to open birthday presents. <laughs> and sometimes patience is hard during bad times, like waiting for a sickness to go away. Oh, yeah. Hey, talk about it together, and welcome to the So-and-So Show! What do you mean, welcome? The show is over. I'm getting started on the next one. I just can't wait! <laughs> Did you learn nothing? Oh, just like always. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Brandon, and that's John. And today on the show, we're telling the Bible story with laundry! We'll see you next time. Hey, laundry! Wow, that's good! <laughs> no, 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 put that. No, no. Ah, E. Ah, this is a nightmare. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I'm used to it. No, 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 there's no, a fork. fork! Use a. Oh, fork? Yeah. You got oh. a little icing on your fingers there. A four coat. Ah. Huh? Let's tell it in a little corners. Brandon. We can decorate some more. <laughs> <laughs>